moment that a belief comes up for us, that we feel we're believing in something, then that, that is a compartmentalization of ourselves, in a sense, away from the authentic ground of ourselves, from which it sprung. Sprung? 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 I guess sprung. From which it sprung. So, to relax in the midst of those ideas, every moment we relax our beliefs is a certain depth of the energy that we invest in that belief. What happens is that it's, at the same time, it's a rebirth into more awareness of the authentic self, within which all these smaller things appear. Not saying that the smaller selves have no significance, because they are an immediate expression of whatever you're here to do, whatever you're here to be. So if you find yourself naturally leaning towards something, towards some idea, or towards some religion, or towards some form of action in the world, then by all means pursue that. Because it is significant in the fact, in the sense that it is part of you. It is part of your authentic self. It's like the finger is part of the hand. These are extensions, these genuine preferences. Not the fear-based preferences of trying to manage your life, but those that give you a sense of passion and fulfillment and aliveness. Those are the signals from, if you will, your higher self, or from the hand, from the authentic self, from a deeper level of consciousness. Through the system, feeling the passion of the aliveness or the sense of joy and love in doing something, that's the signal that says, do this, be this, because this is meant for you to be expressed in this way. However, every second or every moment that we relax our rigid beliefs surrounding these things, or any other thing, is a death of that belief to some extent. It will return, most likely, but it will be lesser and lesser and lesser in its rigidity. It will be more and more flexible, more and more open, more and more all-inclusive, more and more in harmony with the love that's connected to all that is. So what happens is that we die before we die, is we die to our ideas. The identity that's caught up in beliefs only more and more disappears and makes room for the space that never left, that was always already there. And that you could call is the rebirth, but it's not really, really a rebirth because it's always already here. Even while you're rigidly believing, the space of consciousness is there witnessing you rigidly believing. But every moment of relaxation is that moment of that the rebirth that is here. Does that make sense? So the relaxation of tension, of belief, is the death of the smaller self, merging into more of the greater self. But does that answer your question? Or?